Hi, thank you for tuning in. This is DJ Bob Fresh from SegaShiro.com, the Sega Saturn, Sega Resource. And today we're looking at the Wii's ultra-violent, ultra-stylish action game. This is Mad World. Now, Mad World is a title that's coming from Platinum Games, a studio with stellar critical success. Uh, these guys have made games ranging from, or at least the core members have made games ranging from Beautiful Joe all the way back to Devil May Cry. And so this is coming from a great development house. And certainly, stylistically, this game is off the charts. Now, the first thing you notice about this game when you pick it up is, one, it's graphic novel style. It's very inspired by Frank Miller and Sin City, but also inspired by Japanese manga and other comic books. And the second thing you notice is the, the violence bubble in the title. Now, first let's get to the graphic novel style. Now, this game uses four main colors. That's yellow, red, black, and white. And the graphics look fantastic. Platinum Game has done an incredible job making this game easy to play, easy to see what's going on, and exciting and fun at the same time, while all giving the game a unique style completely unto itself. Now the simplicity of this title and its look graphically, I think, might confuse people into thinking that there's not as much going on with this title as there are with other Wii titles. In fact, the back end or the development to this game is actually quite incredible. So to overcome lighting issues, which is something you'd have to think about when you're only using such few colors, the main character of Jack and other principal characters were actually modeled twice with two different textures. One which was used when he was in bright areas and a second when he was in dark areas. And this way you can always define your characters from the rest of the background. And Sega did a stellar job with that. You know, never do you have an issue of finding your character on the screen. Control-wise, this game is also fantastic. It doesn't use the IR sensors of the Wiimote. In fact, there's very little waggling going on. In fact, you mostly use the face buttons to do your main hits and only use the Wiimote's uh, motion capabilities when it makes sense. Sega has integrated this in very, very well. This is an incredible game to play on the Wiimote. It gets you excited, it gets you right into it. And uh, it's probably some of the most fun I've had on the console today. After the match, I'll show you an impressive orgy. I bet you will, Tiger. Now, the main game is broken up into sort of four main gameplay styles. One is Bloodbath Challengers, which essentially play out as mini games uh, as a reward for playing the main game. There's motorcycle racing, where you sort of drive from point A to point B and you engage in road rash style action. That's a lot of fun, however, very that happens only a few times throughout the title. The main arcade component, which is where you're running around beating up guys. However, in that, it's not just enough to kill guys, you have to kill them with style. So that might mean first slamming a barrel over them, then sticking a pipe through them, and then smashing them uh, repeatedly on the rose bush. That way you sort of increase your points. And finally, the boss fights. The boss fights are some of the best I've played in the game in recent memory. They're a ton of fun, they totally get you into the action and I almost consider them worth the price of admission alone. All of the sound design work in this game is great. The music is incredible. In fact, Sega's gone out and released the soundtrack to this title. The voice acting is good, and the probably the only problem on the technical side is that sometimes the sound layers in ways that makes it hard to hear things. But, you know, that's a minor problem and otherwise a great product. The story is surprisingly deep uh, for an action game. It'll take you about four to five hours to run through it the first time. You'll probably want to play it a second time to, with the double chainsaws. And this is a great title, and I'm more than pleased to have it in my collection. And I think it's definitely worth putting into yours. This is DJ Bob Fresh signing out, saying, keep on gaming.